Hi, third grade. Today we're going to look at lesson 24 in your grammar packet. And we're going to look at how to choose words and phrases for effect when you're speaking and when you're writing. When writing, you should pick words and phrases that express your ideas and experiences in a lively, interesting way. Replace general words or phrases with more precise words or phrases. So instead of writing, last week I went to a nice swimming party, you could be more precise or specific and say, on Saturday I went to a nice swimming party. Another tip is to swap general verbs with more specific or descriptive verbs. I like to call these vivid verbs. Instead of writing, on Saturday I went to a nice swimming party, you could simply say, on Saturday I attended a nice swimming party. Attended is a stronger word choice than went. Another tip. Trade in weak adjectives for stronger or more interesting adjectives. So, for example, instead of saying, on Saturday I attended a nice swimming party, you could say, on Saturday I attended an amazing swimming party. And the final sentence is much more precise and interesting to read than the first one. So, here's our last sentence. On Saturday, I attended an amazing swimming party. Instead of saying, last week, I went to a nice swimming party, right? Do you agree that this final sentence with those edits is much better than the first sentence? Let's look down below at the guided practice and do that together. The directions say, circle the word or phrase that can best take the place of the underlined word or phrase. The goal is to make each sentence more precise and interesting. The hint over on the left says, when replacing a word or phrase, make sure you are changing the effect of the sentence, but not its meaning. You don't want to change what the sentence means. So, number one. The swimming party started in the afternoon. Hmm. So could we say at noon, later on, or early? Which one's the best one that does not change the meaning? Right, at noon, 12 o'clock noon. Number two, when I arrived, the sun was over the pool. Was is a pretty boring past tense verb. What's a better verb? The sun rose over the pool, moved over the pool, or blazed over the pool. Hmm. I am picture the sun blazing down. I like blazed there. Number three, everyone at the party was very glad to swim. Hmm. Not the best adjective, glad to swim. Ready, surprised, or excited? Which one of those do you think is better? Right, excited. Number four, the pool was a depth of 12 feet. Should it be measured, seamed, or had? Which one is better? The pool measured a depth of 12 feet. Right. And the last one, I walked to the edge and slowly got into the pool. Hmm. Slowly went into the pool. Hmm. Slowly jumped into the pool. I don't think you can jump very slowly or slowly eased into the pool. I do like eased. Very good. All right, third grade, you are off to try the independent practice on your own. Best of luck.